Here's Eric's forecast. Today's weather is perfect for making a big pot of gumbo and just kind of staying inside and watching some of those Christmas movies on rerun as it is not a good day to be outside with the wet, rainy, cold, breezy conditions. You name it, it is absolutely disgusting to be outside and that will be through the evening. Gradually we clear out with some sunshine by tomorrow, but it does look like the winter like temperatures and that breeze will be sticking around for at least another 48 hours before we warm up just in time for the weekend. So let's look at the big picture across the good portion of the country and that cold front that brought the showers is now making its way through Georgia, the Carolinas and up to the East Coast. So we got showers extending all the way from Boston and New York down through the Carolinas and making their way into the Bayou State. It's also already switched over to some snow back through northern portions of Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. Some locations have seen one to two inches in these locations. So that very big white snowflakes are starting to stick to the ground and cause a very picturesque, very winter like scene across portions of the South. But we're not going to see any of the snow, just going to continue to deal with those cold rains across a good portion of Acadiana this evening. Dry conditions down to the south and southeast through Iberia and St. Mary Parish. Starting to see the rain pick up a little bit here in Lafayette. It's kind of a heavy mist or drizzle, maybe some light showers. Better rains off to the west over towards Jeff Davis Parish into Calcasieu and then up into Allen and making their way into Rapides where Alexandra is seeing some decent showers at this evening. And this is what we're waiting for. So the rain pretty much ends once you get over to Texas. So once we get this band to swing through the area, things should improve through the overnight hours. And that's how the model kind of plays this out. So those showers out to the west move into the Lafayette region right around 8, 9 o'clock this evening. So I do expect at least one more round of some decent showers to push into the area. But by about midnight, most of this is moving out of the area. Still maybe down in Iberia and St. Mary Parish could be dealing with those light showers maybe till about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. We wake up to some low clouds to start off our day and a cool and breezy start temperatures in the 30s. There you see the clouds clear out, so it should be a sun filled afternoon, but the winter like temperatures stick around as it will be another cool and breezy afternoon. Moving into Thursday, a cool start to our day again. Temperatures in the 30s and low 40s. Sunshine to begin the day, but there's those clouds returning by the afternoon and maybe a few sprinkles as we are watching a system trying to get its act together in the Gulf of Mexico. But most of the models keep most of this activity to the east, but we'll take a closer look at that in the coming days. Temperatures today as that front was moving through this morning, we started off around 60 in Lafayette, 70s for New Iberia down the St. Mary Parish, but we had the 50s up to the north as that cool air continuing to spill in throughout the day. Temperatures fell now sitting at 47 degrees here in Lafayette. 40 is across a good portion of the area, so definitely a chilly evening with those showers mixing in. We'll see those temperatures dip into the upper 30s, Highway 190 on northward, lower 40s, interstate on southward. So a chilly start to our day. Feel like temperatures in the 30s, so we'll need the heavier jackets tomorrow. And we stay on the below average side. Temperatures only topping out mid to upper 50s with all that sunshine. So a couple winter like days. Similar stories as we move into Thursday, upper 30s to lower 40s out the door. And then temperatures top out only in the mid to upper 50s. So a couple cool days before we gradually get back into the 60s and maybe the 70s by this weekend. Winds have been another story today. Brisk out of the north, anywhere from 15 to 25, gusting up the 30 to 35. That's added an extra chill throughout a good portion of the day. And winds stay breezy through the overnight hours and even into tomorrow morning up to around 10 to 15. So that will create a little bit of a wind chill tomorrow morning. So might need the hats and gloves out the door. And even through the afternoon, we don't really see those winds slack off just yet. Still will be breezy for our Wednesday, but it won't be until Thursday before we finally see those winds start to die down. So 42 out the door tomorrow morning. Clouds, maybe a stray shower, but we should clear out. It's plenty of sunshine by the afternoon. Temperatures top out in the upper 50s, so we'll stay below average. And those winds stay on the breeze side northeast 10 to 15 miles per hour before we cool off into the evening under clear skies. We start off clear on Thursday before clouds return, maybe a stray shower late in the day into Friday morning, but you do see the temperatures continuing to warm and pushing the 70s again by this weekend. So a good little warm up as we push towards Saturday and Sunday. And then another front arrives Monday afternoon, bringing with it a decent chance for some scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm, and then winter returns as we move into the mid part of next week. So a very similar story to what we saw this week. We'll see you again next week. All righty. Thanks, Eric.